everyone, and welcome to the Holland Land Office Museum's video series, Artifact of the Day. And today, I'd like to talk to you about one of our famous Batavians and Genesee County residents, and several of the artifacts that we have of him, General Emery Upton. My name is Ryan Duffy, and I am the director of the museum, and welcome to the video today. Now, Emery Upton was born in Batavia in 1839, and had always had a dream of joining the military, and that was soon realized uh, in his late teens when he was awarded a scholarship to West Point, uh, the United States Military Academy. He was at the Military Academy until 1861 when he graduated in May, and he had an expedited graduation due to the ling uh, lingering conflict that would soon engulf the nation. Uh, by July of 1861, he was fighting in the Civil War, serving as a lieutenant in an artillery unit. By the next year, he was a colonel commanding the 121st New York Infantry Regiment, and by the end of the war, he was, uh, had reached the rank of general and was actually commanding a cavalry unit deep in the south. Following the war, he worked very closely with military leaders to help evolve uh, the United States military following the Civil War. He was a commandant of cadets at West Point uh, from 1870 to 1875, he was commissioned twice to rewrite the Infantry Tactics Manual for the United States Army, and he was also commissioned to travel around the world for 18 months studying the militaries of every other major power. All of this culminated with several writings. Uh, we have copies of those actual writings here at the museum. Uh, however, with all that success, uh, Upton's life ended in tragedy. In 1881, while uh, serving in San Francisco, he actually committed suicide by shooting himself in the head. Uh, he had been suffering from a brain tumor, we believe, and had also dealt with a lot of tragedy and misfortune during his, wife, his life. Uh, for instance, uh, he married uh, his wife soon after the war ended, and she died within two years from tuberculosis. Uh, so he was uh, a very smart man, but also lived a very tragic life in the end. Now, we have several artifacts related to Emory Upton here at the museum, uh, some very rare and very important, and this is one of our most valuable collections here. Uh, so for those of you who do not know, here is General Upton in all his glory. Now, some of the artifacts we have here, we have his West Point cadet uniform. So he would have worn this, oh, about around 1860 or so. We also have uh, here several of the books that he wrote. Uh, the first being the United States Army Infantry Tactics, published in 1867 and then again in 1877. The next was the Armies of Asia and Europe, which was published in 1878. And the last book that was published uh, under his name was the Military Policy of the United States, which was the first military history of the United States. Uh, however, it was published long after his death, actually in 1904, but was not changed in any way from his original manuscript. But probably our most prized possession of his is his calling card collection. Now, we, this collection here has 56 signatures from rather famous people that lived uh, during the Civil War and post-Civil War. A uh, few of those that are represented are that of Ulysses S. Grant, Robert E. Lee, William Seward, uh, Ambrose Burnside, George McClellan, James Longstreet, um, but not just military uh, figures, there's also some literary and business figures. Uh, you have Henry Longfellow, Brigham Young, Gideon Wells, amongst many others. And it's not just paper items we have of his, we have a few other items, more physical and three-dimensional in nature. Uh, we have one of his saddles that he uh, rode on during the war, and also his trunk. So as I like to say, the two things that took him around the world. Now, Emory Upton is not the only famous military figure uh, here from Genesee County, but he's probably the most famous. And any of you who drive through downtown Batavia can actually still catch a glimpse of him. Uh, if you go by the old courthouse, there is the Soldiers and Sailors Monument, which actually has a statue of Emory Upton uh, placed upon it. Though it 
is not exactly Emery Upton. It was depicted in a likeness similar to him and has thus taken on his uh, appearance and name. So it's often known as the Upton Monument. So I'd like to thank you for joining us for another edition of the Holland Land Office Museum's Artifact of the Day series. I hope you enjoyed it and look forward to other videos coming from us. Thank you.